now. Hello and welcome to Masano World Circuit here in Emilia Romagna for the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. What a race we've got for you today. Well, I should say qualifying session. Only qualifying today. But this FIA Grade 2 circuit. Just outside San Marino. This cars will be out on track shortly. And there's a house out on track. I'm gonna try and reach Nico Hulkenberg out on track. Was robbed from a podium last race after his engine failed on the penultimate lap when he was running second place. Can he get redemption here in Masano or will he have to wait another race? No podiums yet, this is just qualifying. You've got a pole before one day. But hopefully for his sake that podium will come one day. Here in Masano it was um, built in 1972 and it was renamed in 2013 to Misano World Circuit Marco Simoncelli after the death of Marco Simoncelli in a crash during the Malaysian Grand Prix for MotoGP. This track of course holds the um, Emilia Romagna Grand Prix, no, sorry the San Marino Grand Prix in MotoGP as well as Mo World Superbike, GT World Challenge Europe, European Truck, truck Racing Championship, Moto E and Boss GP. He used to hold a race in the FIM Endurance World Championship, the Sidecar World Championship, Formula Regional European Championship, DTM, FIA Formula 3 European Championship and TCR Europe. It's 4.226 kilometers long and 2.626 miles. It's got 16 turns and the lap record is a 120.785 set by Hatlord Slegmills in a Formula Renault 3.5. Tolkenberg, is he on a lap now? I believe he is. He's got traffic. And it is the Williams of Alexander Albon. Which he's going to get past Tolkenberg. You watch on board now as he finishes this lap off. Goes through the fastest corners of the circuit. The cone on the track there as he tries to race. He's still got Alexander Albon next to him. They look like they've been quite close to each other for the last couple of laps. 20 minute qualifying session this weekend. It was a 10 minute qualifying session last week in France. That was because it was a shorter circuit. Any circuit under 4 kilometres will be a 10 minute qualifying session. And this circuit is um, 108. No. 226 meters longer than that, so it's going to be a 20 minute qualifying session. This Hulkenberg goes faster with a 25 5, and he gets immediately knocked down to second. Didn't catch who? Sergio Perez. Alexander Albon, let's watch him. He's back in the pit. Has he been involved in incident? We're getting word that he has. It was just behind Hulkenberg. We're going to rewind. Just have a look, and oh yes, he has been involved in this. And went right into the back of the Alpha Tower. I'm not too sure who it is. I don't really know about that, to be fair. As he goes back into the pits, that did look a bit dodgy. Yuki Sonoda's on the track now. So let's see how he does. I'm not actually too sure if he's on a lap. I think he might have already done a lap, to be fair. Or he was the one that got spun round by um, Alex Albon. The penalty might be coming Alex's way. I'm not too sure. It did just look like um, um, confusion and braking. Well, it's not the slowest of corners on the track. So people might break more than others. Bit of a scary part of this track. That flat out where I hand if you lose any part of your car. 
you slide onto those hosty curbs, your car can get launched. Hopefully, that doesn't happen this weekend. Yuki's neighbor, I think, will come into the pits at the end of this lap. I don't believe him. He's on a fast lap. No, he isn't a fast lap. But he comes around the final corner. Where will this put him? He opens the RS. And this lap's going to put him in P7. A good lap that from Yuki Snowder. And Monzo, does it, is he on a lap? I believe he's just finishing his DRS open for him. Where's he going to go? He's going to go third fastest. I think it was Nick DeFries who was spun around by Alex Albon. Speaking of Alex, where is he? He's still in the pits. It's, it's, oh. No, the Slappen just went fastest. Was, oh, what's happened to Albon? Albon's come out on track. And he has hit his rear tyre in the pit wall. Isn't very really smart from Alex. The Williams driver comes out on track. He hasn't had the best of seasons so far. As we'll watch him complete that one just to see this track. It's, we will once Alex does do his commentary, um, not his commentary, sorry, his flying lap as he goes a bit wide there. We will go you through this circuit. Never, never raced for an F1. So it'll be a brand new circuit to everyone here. Of course, they have done pra free practice sessions, and they probably have done qualifying sims, but no actual runs for qualifying. As Pierre Gassi goes into 14th place. Lance Stroll, where is he on the circuit? Looks like he's just finished a lap. Ocon. He's about to finish a lap by the looks of things. He goes around the final section of track. Where does this lap put him? Around the final corner. And the DRS is going to open. Where does this lap put him? He's currently 17th. He's going to go in only to 16th. It's not a brilliant lap from Ocon. Albon 19th. He still hasn't done the lap yet. As he starts his flying lap, let's go on board with the Williams driver. It's turn one, heavy braking zone, as we have to get the line immediately towards turn two. He almost is off the track there. That was a bit risky from Albon. As he's then the slow trip double right-hander, well, kind of a trip right-hander actually, if you can include the first part, of this, take the last part of the chicane. There's a left-hander onto the um, kind of other straight. There's kind of two back straights here at Misano. As it's a very un, um, off camber corner here. Looks very much like a really good corner for a motorbike. We're not motorbikes, we're in a car here. There's this hairpin right-hander, double right-hander apex. This is a very tricky corner to get right. As you now fly with DRS open. Two right hand flat out kinks here on this back, not really straight, but it's a quick bit. If you go wide here in the race or any time really, you car your car will be quite damaged a bit. It's a slow right hander, another slow right hander to finish off this lap. If you just got two more left hand kinks to go, go slightly off the track, the FIA might look at that and conclude that that is track limits, but I don't think it was too much. If he goes around the final corner to finish off this lap, where's it going to put him? It's going to be fastest from Albon. Very big surprise there from the Williams driver. Did not expect him to be fastest. Is he? I reckon he's got enough fuel and tyres for another lap. Let's see how this one goes. It's Albon in slow right-handers. It's not the fastest of circuits, Marco. Um, Masala no world circuit. Boy, is it a good one if you get it right. It does remind me a bit, especially this section of Anadara, the Argentinian Grand Prix, which was the first round of the season. That was won by current championship leader George Russell. But Russell hasn't actually done great recently. He crashed out, well, he didn't really crash out of um, France. He had to re he retire to save some of his engine. Just because he had such a dreadful start to the race, he was two laps down during a, the opening stages after having two crashes and he had to come into the pit for repairs. 
Spey was alright, he finished in the low end of the points, and that was half points as well. And then, of course, he couldn't race in South Africa after his crash and qualifying. But Albon, where's he going to finish now? He's going to come around the final corner. Is this going to be an improvement on that lap? It looks like he will be. He's up on the delta right a bit, by about a second, I think. But he crosses the line, and he stays fastest. And I think he might... Yeah, he's pulling over. And I think he's out of fuel. Because they only really use the fuel for a couple laps or one lap really but he managed to get two in just about but only just about thankfully there's Albon pulled over the side of the track and now he is in the pits so no red flag thankfully anyone on track let's have a look there's someone on track can we find them i think we need to we'll be going here and up no it won't shall we collect it's surprising actually where he is someone's on track just need to find them here we go lando norris now let's see how he's doing He's around it. getting a bit dark in here in Misano. Of course, evening time, so not going to be the brightest. If he comes around the final corner, whereas Alex Albon he comes into the pits, so maybe people start to come into the pits about halfway through this qualifying session. Anyone else on track? I don't actually believe there is. The sergeant's coming out on track, so we'll watch him. There's Logan Sargent, his teammate is currently fastest, he's currently tenth. We'll go to ad break now, and when he starts his lap, we will come back to see where he can put his car on the grid. We return to Masano as Logan Sargent actually peeled into the pits at the end of that lap. So maybe just a little final race simulator just to get make sure the lap's perfect. And there is someone out on track though. I'm not entirely sure who it is. We have just under five minutes to go in this session. 
And I will find here it is Pierre Gersi out on track. He's at the end of the lap, I believe. Yeah, he's at the end of the lap. So will he come into the pits? Mm, yes, he will. So Pierre Gersi into the pits as well, and I think that will probably be qualifying over. And this is your grid for the race now. I know there is four laps left. People are starting to come to just do one lap. Not entirely sure why. But these things happen. The cars want to save tyres for the race, possibly. We're going to go to adverts now until the end of the qualifying. This, I don't think that people will be completing any more laps, and I believe this will be your final grid. So here is your current grid before we go to ads. At the back, Child the Clare is home race. Ferrari had an alright Le Mans last week, the 51 1. But the 50 had a poor race after some sort of issue, put them six laps down. Yuki Snowden, 19th, 18th Ocon, 17th Stroll, 16th Gasly, 15th Joe, 14th Hulkenberg after his brilliant race last week. He's set better than that. Max in 13th, another poor result for Ferrari. Science in 12th, Alonso in 11th, Sergio te uh, Sergeant 10th. Piastri 9th, De Vries 8th, Perez 7th, Russell 6th, Hamilton 5th, Norris 4th, Verstappen 3rd, Bottas 2nd on his first ever pole in Formula 1, Alexander Albon is on pole. Let's see you at the end of qualifying to confirm those results just in case anything else changes. But for, if that nothing else does, we'll see you tomorrow for the race. Fifteen seconds left on the clock. 
and it looks like everybody is in the pit. I don't think anyone's out on track. Oh, no, Stroll's on track, and so is Ocon. So they'll probably be finishing the laps or coming to the pits. I don't think they've actually done a lap, to be fair. It's Ocon. Oh, what's Ocon done? Is he out of fuel? He's just hit a bollard, and yet yeah, Ocon's out of fuel. He's pulled over into the pit, and I think Stroll's in the pit as well. Hulkenberg's out on track. Looks like he's just come out of the pits. No, he's... Where is he? I'm not too sure where he is, but he's on the grass. Looks like he's pulling over as well. Out of fuel. For the German. And Russell out on track as well. Don't know why he's coming out on track after the flag is waved. The 20 minutes is up. Which means the pit light would be red. I assume. But for some reason, Hulkenberg... Going out on track. So we've got a car on track, so we're going to watch it. Because what's a better thing than watching a car do a lap, whatever the circumstances are? And it's Champions Leader George Russell, who's currently in sixth place. This is where most of the cars have been pulling over with fuel issues. And. It looks like, yep, as I thought, George Russell is going to do the exact same thing. Anyone else? Don't believe there is. The check of flags being waved now. And I just realised, wait, no, I can't. Can I? No, I can't change the lap. So that is the end of qualifying. I'm just going to quickly, slowly go through the grid. Here is your grid for tomorrow's race. And thank you for watching qualifying. It's going to be a 2 o'clock lights out in Masano. 3 o'clock local time, 2 o'clock British time. And I'll leave it to you to find out what time that is for you. But thanks for checking this qualifying out. Goodbye.